Okay, this is going to be a quick screencast, and this is going to be a comparison video on using a software-defined radio, an RTL-SDR device, and uh, we're going to compare it to using a shortwave radio. And I've got a program here. This is Windows 10, which, by the way, I despise Windows. But this is one of the best programs going. It's called SDR Sharp, and I have a AirSpy device hooked up. allows you to record HF and outside I have a tuned 9 megahertz antenna and I'm I'm covering the 9 megahertz band right here on shortwave so let me just start this up from the Old Testament they nearly always know the weather outside is atrocious soon became the Old Testament of the church after its enthusiastic change channels here and one of the great things here Ray Haroon driving a single seat to Mom and was declared the winner. And hundred years ago the development of all the right nearby there. Didn't much care for that. But one of the things you can see is that I can adjust the gain and uh, I can overload uh, as well. I can get some front end overloading here. But uh, as I adjust the gain, I can pull in uh, weaker stations much easier, just like a regular gain on any radio as well, too. But the interesting thing you can see here is that you can see all the signals that are contained within the band, and it is so much easier to tune around them. It's just a point and click. So let's just click one, see what we got. That should be a good signal. <laughs> lightning uh, so I'm gonna shut this thing down here pretty quick but uh, uh, another thing I like about it is you could change your sample rate to 10 uh, megabytes per second uh, we can also do narrow FM wide FM lower sideband upper sideband digital raw uh, Morse code and uh, another digital mode here and you can take audio too and you could pump the audio via virtual, a program called Virtual Cable. And the audio will go directly into another software program. And you can do things like download uh, NOAA WeFax, uh, Teletype, and a few other very interesting things. So I hope uh, that we showed a decent, uh, real quick overview on SDR radio. Then we're what it can do. A short way of listening. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we like that to was a all we can. Jesus tells us that is. So okay, let me shut this down. Okay, had a little bit of a lightning storm a few minutes ago, and I had hoped to just add this part just like a minute or two later, so that uh, there wasn't any long separation of time, uh, so you could do a comparison between the software-defined radio. And one of my other shortwave radios. This is the Texan PL660, which is one of my favorite go-to radios. So here's one of the channels that I kept pinging on on the first part of this video. Illustration because they can't do whatever they want to do to us. And, and the signal is about the same. Uh, to change channels here, you know, I cannot see what the next channel is going to be like I could on the software-defined radio. But uh, the quality is much better, the sound's much better, although if I really wanted to on the computer I could take a digital analog converter, a USB DAC, and pump that thing into a stereo if I wanted to so I could blow the sound out. Um, that being said, this particular radio does not have a line out. If I used my PL880, I could go line out to a stereo, so it's kind of the same. But um, um, the little portable radio does sound better, there's no doubt about it. 
uh, but you get to see all that bandwidth on the software defined radio on the computer screen it's much easier to navigate so uh, you know there's advantages and disadvantages to everything I think if I'm just listening and uh, you know I want to listen to Radio Havana or something like that I think I'd rather grab a radio than then set the computer up, and then uh, at least with the radio, it's sitting right next to me. Otherwise, I got to stand over the computer and uh, finesse it to make it work. So, uh, you know, I don't know if there's a comparison to be made. There are two different platforms that can both receive the same frequencies. Of course, the SDR can receive many more frequencies uh, than the software or the uh, shortwave radio can. So, it's a matter of preference. Both work. Uh, both will let you listen to HF radio. So take your pick. Over and out.